What's up, YouTubers? I'm gonna head out to the course and hit some of the new obstacles I just put in on it. I got a friend over with his brand new TRX4. He got the, the 79 Bronco, I guess it is. He went ahead and picked it up yesterday, I think. As you can see, it looks like torque twist. That's because one of my back shocks did leak all the oil out and I need to stretch the spring. It only leaked because it came loose, not because of the seal. But this truck did really good for me yesterday. I'm real proud of it. <laughs> yeah, that one there is going to take some weighted wheels or a winch just about. You get enough ground clearance on it, this. Let's go check him out. I was going to put rocks in the bottom of it down here. Yeah. I think I'm going to fill in this whole section with some rocks. All right. After being over there at that course, it gave me some ideas at least. Yeah. Now then, let's try out some of these rocks. I need to make a, a path or a route to go yet. I ain't even made one. It's like a whole different truck, I swear. Very nice. I'm gonna probably put that 17 tooth pinion back on it and get the speed back now that I got this motor with the torque. I don't think it'll matter about losing torque. I don't think this motor would lose any torque with that pinion really, not much and get my speed and slow crawl in. I don't know if my wife and them are still out there at the tent playing darts or not. They was over there playing darts. I said I got some rocks I ain't tried yet. They might have went back in. I know I probably shouldn't. I don't even know how this is going to work. This is still just the way I threw them out of the car. It's possible, I guess. We're going to find out. Like a little turtle flipping over. Let's just kind of go for any way we can here. Oops, I didn't sound good. So just enough wheel speed when you need it. Got to adjust some springs up and put some more oil in my shock, so. Might even go back to that stiff spring. I don't know yet. A little bit of a path over there. I like that they put regular Ford bumpers on there instead of the big bulky ones like you see on all the other comp or regular crawlers. 
Go the other way. Back up and then go that way some. That way your tire can get on the rock. Back up some. Oh, there you go. You got it. That'll work. Kind of. Yeah, now go that way. There you go. Oh, truck would have made it. Got a little road right here, kind of. Yeah, that didn't lower high. Sound like you're in high. I am. Yeah. Let's try this way. I gotta get, I'm gonna take my back my bra this man right here. I think I gotta tighten up my front tire. Actually, I do think I got one that's really loose. Oh, you know that the way they got that brake where you double tap, yeah. you don't have a drag brake with that. No, don't. So you, you can reprogram that somehow. I, I can go in and watch it on YouTube and reprogram it to have a drag brake. Because that's, I think it's stupid to be honest. Hold on. I might have lost a pin here. Hold on a minute. Or yeah, we're going to run without the body today. But. See, look at this stupid thing. Look at this pan right here with my fingers on. Yeah. Now, look, if I go this way, watch this. I mean, I actually clear, but. Yeah. How the fuck are you supposed to. I'm going to have to build something over that. You're going to have to. You're going to have to put a cover or something. I'm getting a, another uh, trail master for this truck next. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm going to put one in every truck. Probably go to a 27 in this one as well. I'll probably test that one in it and see how I liked it. I can actually gear this down one more gear still too. Yeah, it's a little wide probably. You might have to come down over here. And over here, as long as you don't endo it, let it roll on its own, you'll be all right. Because that one ain't, that one's set up with the drag rig, right? Thank you. Yeah, because all you gotta do, there's, there's a way to program them, I just don't know how. Three days RC in the road. Shit. I know, right? Damn. This one's got that 1080 makes this one have a great slow crawl, but I think you'll clear the way it is. <laughs> Full speed. <laughs> Let's see if that... now this one's a little harder to get across some of these rocks, but we're gonna because of the leaf springs, but it goes. These tires are pretty good. They're Pitbull, uh, what are they? Pitbull Rock Beast or some shit like that. Wow. I love this truck. Yeah, tire in the air, it'll still go.
It's really light on its feet without a body. Yeah. But this bumper catches everything too. I'm gonna probably put the metal ones on here, but. Oh. You right? Recording right now, some reason. Oops. Don't want to break an axle. A little dusty. I know the high racks will do it, so. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's a lot of dust sitting on the course. See how good drag. See, look at that. See how that belly pan catches? Look at that. It. You almost got to jump shit just to go. Yeah, bud. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? But I couldn't clear this one the other day. I'm going to have to jump it just about. There we go. A little bunny hop. There you go. There you go. This little board here is actually harder than it looks. Especially with low vehicles, but my camera probably barely even pointing the right way. Let's see what we got over here. That went pretty well right there. Let's see. I'm trying to go up here. I know. I know. Once you get your back bumper past things. It's one thing this truck's got going for, no back bumper, but. On there, yeah, it changes everything on it. Then I, I got a little articulation, arc, or uh, articulation road here ahead for a while, but it's already grown back in. Definitely need to start making my stuff more challenging. You know, just it's hard to organize stuff, you know what I mean? And make it where it fits good. I'm gonna take a chainsaw and cut all these boards to where they're half the length too. So I can make like little paths out of them, but uh, I don't know if I can do anything over here. Can we go for it? Yeah, go ahead and break yours on through that little road. That's pretty. Go ahead and break it on. Yeah, come on through there. See if you can't sh straddle any of them. That's more like a real course. Your truck shouldn't walk right through that shit. It'll move the bricks where we want them, won't it? <laughs> and my shit ain't gonna do that. You just made your way through there. I'll do a U-turn, he said. I'm going over that one too. He hit the Thomas Family Bridge and all. You got to dig on that thing or what? What the hell? <laughs> he put that thing on a, a, a swivel. Uh oh. I don't I think I broke something. What'd you break? No, you good. Sounds fine. Sounds the same. Yeah, this truck, I'll definitely have to do some working for this oh. truck. Or is it it's just your servo? You hear the servo? This Seems like the shots went back further. No, I don't know. Look and see if they're loose or anything. <laughs> Damn, I actually went through there with a TF2. I don't know how the hell I did it. It wasn't as pretty, but. You look at it? Yeah. Let me get back up. Yeah, I'll go first. It's got the lean on. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're gonna have to stay way over as wide as that thing is. Things wide as shit. Back tire barely on there in it. Yeah, it's gonna come off right there. And I can move that little tray thing forward and it gives it even more angle. Now I cut it this way, you'll be right. I got my money's worth. That's a damn store. You know that? Oh, yeah, that's a good truck. I'm gonna get a TRX4. Like I said, I'm gonna trade that SCX10 to Which somebody. Which do you like, the Bronco or the? Well, yeah, I like the Bronco because of the two-speed transmission and the locking diffs and all that. But that's also why there's a hundred and fifty, two hundred dollar difference. Yeah. But you definitely need to change the setting on that other one to put the damn drag brake in the instant reverse because I noticed that was the way what's his name's was, but you can't do that on yours. So you put that Bronco, it's gonna go. Pew! <laughs> I just ran over a bulldozer. Yeah. The torque master, it wouldn't roll like that either. But that Bronco, the drag brake is turned off. It's set for race car mode. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is crazy. Oh, yeah, that's the one I was going to hit. It's one of my new ones. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's a, it's a belly dragger. He said, I'll get out of it anyway. He's probably back out of that one. Oh, hell yeah. What a beast. Yeah. I'd put them high racks on the other one probably. Though. <laughs> I like them on here. I get some speed for this. Oops. Ah, you bitch. Little mama. Let's try this again. There we go. He launched it. Yeah, he had the same exact sign in his course over there. Uh, John and them. Yeah, they had a couple street signs, just the same exact one. Yeah, I think it was already broke. Probably. You could put it in second gear on the other one and jump that. <laughs> it's like, oh, then you'll make that one now. I think it wants to shrunk. But anyway, also go over here a little bit and come this way. That's always been a belly dragger too. Oh. Come over this way, get your back tire on that rock as you come up, like right there. Just gotta find your line. Yep, and I don't have any yet. We've gotta make them as we go, really, like I say. Well, we're doing them, ain't uh, we? Just come over here and crawl on a Sunday afternoon. Is that the best way to get it set up to where you can do anything? And then I like because I get to try two different style of trucks to see. Because I mean, hell, you make it to where that Gen 8 will go right across something. That don't mean this truck will. There we go. There's, look at that belly pan, though, man. Yeah. And, and it don't just catch; it hangs where you can't get that bitch off. It's like putting a nail in a fucking piece of wood. Go TRX Sport against the TF2 35 turn axial motor and 35 turn RC four wheel drive motor in his. And then we got to do an arm drop. Too bad JJ's arm drop, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. That Sport got me on that one, I think. Yep, definitely. I went down to the 10 tooth pinion instead of 14. It was kind of getting it the other day with that 14. I wonder if my ditch over here is dry. I've never drove in the ditch yet. Come on, let's go. We're out ditch running. 
There ain't really much around here to crawl on, so it sucks. Not natural, anyway. That motor sounds like shit, man. You need to get you a new one. I got some motors, but nothing great. I got a motor to make it fast. <laughs> I got a 21 turn that would probably make it keep up with the with your Bronco in high speed. It sounds like it might be about to go out. Because when you got it wound out, you can hear it. This used to be my little jumping spot for my off-road cars, but it ain't really nothing to it, though. It's got a little bit of a hill. It's steeper on this side the most, but... Did it cut in half? Huh? Is it in half speed? No. Batteries might be gone. You can turn it off and back on. What? Turn it off and back on, and if it goes back to full speed, it's your battery. Which I'm sure it is the battery. Mm. Yeah, that's battery kicking down. Some of them Dang. shut off, some of them don't. Oops, sorry.